assalamu alaikum my name is dr jahangir ali surgical resident in surgery ward 3 today we will discuss the issues of uh, surgical resident starting from initial period up to the end of the training so you feel lot of problems while you are training so we will uh, discuss those problem here so that you can easily do your training without facing any difficulty so we will start from very beginning once your house job is completed you decide whether to go in general surgery or not so first think 100 times once you decide to go into the surgery then you should think that you have to ascend you have to achieve it so first of all i would like to discuss with those candidates who are trying to appear in the surgical part one and they want to qualify it many of the rumors comes that the surgical part one is very difficult and many of the people are saying that it is out of their approach so this is totally wrong once you are striving to acquire uh, to qualify your exam then definitely you can ace it point is that your strong determination and persistent hard work is the key to success this is the main thing if you are not following it you will face lot of difficulties day and night work hard try to cover all of your course and definitely the time will come you will qualify your exam never get deserted try and try once you are unable to qualify the exam try it again again and again the day will come you will be giving the news to your friends that you have qualified your exam so now you have opted the surgery you are going to appear in surgical part one once you qualify your exam definitely now you are surgeon sooner or later you will become a surgeon keep this thing in your mind that you will become a surgeon never get hurt of anything that you cannot do at that time keep thing one thing in your mind that the day will come you will learn each and everything you can take my example when i was a surgical resident i joined my ward i was you know unable to take an stitch and i was very much worried about it how will i learn the surgeries even i am unable to make an stitch how it would be possible for me to make a, such a huge surgery such a complicated cases so i was very much worried about it but with the passage of time i learned a lot of things with the supervision of my seniors so now we are discussing the problem that many of the surgical resistance do when they are in the second year or third year they are saying that they are trying their best but they are unable to learn the surgeries so why that is so that is just because i think that they do not go through the surgery uh, operative books it is very important to go through the surgical operative book first try to read all the uh, operative steps of the surgery that you are going to do it is very important to first go through the book then go into the ot and see the surgery or watch the surgery then assess the surgeries multiple times by reading the book again and again definitely when you will be going to do the surgery it will be much more better than the surgery that you have done without studying and without assisting any senior so it would be very helpful for you if you are working hard you are going through the proper book if you are uh, assisting the seniors and then you are doing the surgery it would be much more helpful for you you will be very much beneficial to your patient as well that you are going to do very nice surgery without giving injuries to the remaining tissue that are not being should that should not be injured at any cost so uh, i think i have told you sufficient things to go through your proper training in the end i would i would like to say that stay with your surgeries stick to your study stick to your surgeries respect your seniors and in the end i would must i must say grind like this shine like this